It's Friday, or as we call it, <laughs> Brew Day, a day where we get to find out more about local breweries in town. I met up with Ivan from Stonehome Brewing to learn about this new brew about, and what about all it is, ugh, it is all about. <laughs> It's Brew Day, and I am here with Ivan at Stonehome. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're going to talk about your new IPA called Lit IPA, which is the easiest to say. Yeah. Well, it's not new, new. It's one that's <laughs> on our constant rotation, right. uh, West Coast style IPA. Okay. Um, that's more of your traditional, the bitter IPA that people don't like when they're talking about IPAs and think of. That's what this one is. But it actually is real nice. Yeah. Like, I will say, like, it wasn't like the super, like, ah. Oh. It was like a, okay, I can taste it, I can feel it, but we're just, it's not. Yeah, the bittering is on the lower end of the right. scale on this one for an IPA, um, which is how we always do this one. So um, it's about, like, 50 IBUs. Okay. Where some of your hoppier IPAs are up to 70, 80 Ooh. plus. Okay, so talking about IBUs. Yep. Well, what is that, and how is it, like, determined? So, it's international bittering units. Okay. And it's determined by the amount of alpha acids in the hops, and when you add them in the boil, the longer you boil the hops, it releases more of the acid and makes it more bitter. Okay. Um, and that's kind of just all calculated out by the software we use to take what the hops were measured at, you put that in, and the different times and how it boils, the heat reacts with it and causes it to change the flavor. Cool. And now, IBU is different than the alcohol percentage in a, in a beer, yep. right? And that's the ABV. ABV. <laughs> <laughs> I had combined them earlier. <laughs> we're just singing the alphabet here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's all determined by the sugars that are in the wort when it goes into the fermentation tanks um, that comes from the malt that's extracted in the mashing process. Okay. Okay, so uh, this was kind of another question. This this beer uses Michigan Chinook hops? Yep, it's just uh, the local variety they grow in there. Um, it has a different, little bit different flavor than the traditional West Coast Chinook hops. Um, something I've played around with the last couple beers. So just something new I was trying. Well, okay, so I just feel like whenever we're talking, I'm just like, this is like a giant science experiment, and you're kind of like a wizard, Ivan. Are you going to be a wizard for Halloween? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> that would be so epic. <laughs> I haven't thought of that outfit yet. So if, if somebody is newer to drinking IPAs, would this be something that you would recommend? Yeah, it'd be something that would fit kind of, I would put towards the end of a flight if I was doing okay. a flight, start with, you know, a couple lighter ones. Right. Um, find something else that looks good to you, whether it be a darker beer or, um, you know, a brown or a red, Irish red, or amber, something like that, and then finish up with the IPA. Finish up with the IPA. And it's so great. I love the samplers, because, like, the, the flights, I should say, because, like, then you can try a few different things and experiment a little bit. Yeah, I usually like to, like I said, start with the lighter ones, mm -hmm. because the hops and the bitterness of the beer do affect affect your taste buds when you're sampling them. So if you drink this and then go to drink a fruited sour, it's not going to taste great. You're going to be like, right. what? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, how long will this one be on tap for? Um, it'll be around for a while. It was just oh. tapped earlier this week. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ivan. It's always a pleasure. Thanks. You think about your wizard costume. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you in studio. This has been Brew Date, sponsored by Stone Home Brewing. All right, Sarah, I have to ask you. Uh-huh. You've been to Stone Home quite a bit. Yes. So what is your favorite? You know, that, it, that is like a terrible question. <laughs> um, because I like different things when they, it's out. You know, so they right. don't always have the exact same beer all the time. Mm -hmm. They have ones that pop up here and there. Not right. that they're necessarily new, but that they're just there. And so my favorite thing to do, mm -hmm. and I do this often, is just get a sampler. Because oh. then I can have a little variety. You get to pick your four. Um, you can switch it up. You can have some dark. You can have some light. You can have some poppy. You can have some all the things. That's fun. And, I didn't even and know that. And then it's just kind of a fun little thing. But Carter 
loves to go to stone home and mm -hmm. i think it's because they give you dough to play with oh um, that's so fun yeah and to, to play with so it's fun but if you'd like to sample this brew for yourself go to stone home brewing there is the address on the screen and you can always go to their facebook page or website but